Stop number 23 on the NSCRA Hunt Brothers Pizza Truck Series brings us to North Wilkesboro Speedway in the Brushy Mountains of North Wilkesboro. As we're set for racing here today, 60 laps of action on this .625 mile racetrack. As we are, as we, well, as we're set to give you the starting lineup here, you got a Sh all Chevrolet front row and an all Ford second row, well, all Ford second and third row for that fact too. Here's the, here's the lineup for you here. On the pole, it's Kyle Matthews in 52, the AC Delco Chevrolet. He will have the pole for this race here today. And alongside of him is Charles Sanford, number 16, the Papa John Chevrolet on the outside. Charles has one of our three in-truck cameras in today's race. Second row has Levi McIntyre in 99 and number 98, Joshua Osborne. Osborne has our second camera for this race here today. Third row sees Jessica Shelton, who's been on a hot streak as of late in the number four machine. She she's won five she's won five races this season so far, including two of the last four. <clears throat> and she was second at the last race in the tour at Martinsville. She'll be flanked by truck number 44. It is Matt McIntyre in the in the Federated Auto Parts Ford. Fourth row has number has number 43. It is Mike Becker in the Cummins Diesel Dodge. He's alongside number 24, Nathan Orman, the GMAC Chevrolet. Next row has number has number 21. It is Quentin Moore in the Racing with Jesus Eagle Jet Ford. Quentin has our third in truck camera. He's alongside Daniel Bouchard in number 60, the Cat Rental Stores, um, the Cat Rental Stores Chevrolet. Next row down has number 25, Seth Cole in a Sitgo Superguard Dodge. He's alongside number 5, Phil Parker. Next row down has Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet number 3. He's third in the points coming in this race here today at Wilkesboro. He's alongside Rob Evans in number 30 of the team Mopar Dodge. Next row down has number 94, Gene Sanford and 87, Cassie Dent. Two of the ladies in this row. Next row down has number, <coughs> excuse me, has number 18. It is Stephen Colon. And number 80, that is the truck of Jesse Turner. Next row down is number one. That is the truck of of Henry Williams. He's alongside number 29, Johnny Gardner. Then it's number two, Dylan Young. And number eight, Matt Haas in the next row down. Next row after that will be number 28, Keith Batson, who had that tremendous one at Talladega. He's alongside number 06, Mitchell Collins. Next row down has Cat Batson at number 50. She's alongside number 7, Logan Williams. Next row down has Ty Denton, 86. He'll be alongside number 17, Robbie Bogues. Then it's number 49, Josh King. And number 75, that is the truck of Zachary Fitzwater. Next row down has Sebastian Denton, number 19. And number 48, Paul Minnick. Next row down after that would be number 83, Jay. Next round has number 62, Roberto Cruz. Number six, next round actually does have number 83, that's James Sykes. And number 88, Zach Winkle. Next round has number 62, Roberto Crown Jr. And number 83, James Sykes. And starting shotgun will be number 6, it is Nathan Hudson. Coming from way out back, he's alongside number 38, Dexter Black. That's how they'll start lining up for today's race here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. So 38 trucks will are lined up on the front stretch here as the base truck will lead them off for the pace up after the command's been given to fire the engines here. In fact, here comes that command right now. So the base truck leads the field for the for the pay, round for the pace up. We'll be back for the start of the race right after this. <clears throat> Pace truck will lead him, is now heading on to pit road here. Again, in truck cameras today will be carried by will be carried by Quentin Moore, Joshua Osborne, and Charles Sanford. Those are the three cameras for today's race. As they come off the fourth corner, is is an all Chevy front row. Green flag will be flown here right now, and let's go racing at North Wilkesboro. Sixty laps. The order of the day on the here in this five eighths mile in this five eighths mile racetrack that's sitting right in the middle of the Brushy Mountains in North Carol in the state of North Carolina. 
As they come off turn number four here, it is be Kyle Matthews leading the first lap of this race. And several trucks getting tail happy coming off that fourth turn. And Matthews already pulling out to a pretty good lead at this point. As they come out turn number two, a pair of Fords bailing out here. Levi McIntyre in 99 and Joshua Osborne in 98. And Osborne being pushed by Charles Sanford in number 16 as they come off the fourth turn. Going to be close between those two at the line. And Joshua has the lead by about a, uh, not the lead, but the, has, has that position by about a half a truck length into the start finish line. Three wide right there. Well, it was three wide. Oh, somebody. Oh, my goodness. Cole Deaver literally, literally just died in the in the front stretch, the back stretch pits. And Seth Cole also in the pit on pit road at number twenty five truck here. And no caution yet in this race here. We're gonna look and see if, if we're gonna get if we. I'm surprised it didn't cause a yellow flag to fly here as as we as Matthews leads Osborne in second battle for third going on between Charles Sanford and the 43 truck of of Mike Becker and we and there they come and they go into turn number one here battle right here going on between Johnny Gardner and Nathan Ormond right there and also in the forward truck of Jessica Shelton that mix as well too Shelton usually runs well at North Wilkesboro. And they come off turn number, turn number four here, and she will have position over Gardner. That is that is tenth position she just took from Johnny. Johnny coming from way out, from a little bit from about middle of the pack, and just being followed by another lady, Jean Sanford, the number ninety four machine, the 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 Super Eight Motels Ford. So that's battle for 10th going on right there between those two. And now here they come. Three wide off turn number two. Nathan Orman in between a couple of dodges there. Uh, Stephen Cologne and Johnny Gardner. They come off turn number four. And you're going to have three wide again right there behind them as well too. And that's... And oh, did I see four wide off turn number four? And they still kept it together. That's Sykes, Josh King, Matt Haas, and Cassie Dent. That went four wide off turn number four the previous lap. Boy, talking about pushing the envelope here at North Wilkesboro, trying to trying to throw something at the walls, trying to throw trying to throw something at the wall, see if it sticks, if you if you know what I mean, or, or see what they can get away with. But they still keep going on here. Three white hairs on the and below as well too. Daniel Bouchard, Logan Williams, and Cat Batson, in the fifty truck as they come through turns number. Off to number two, Bouchard trying to move to the inside and try to get past Logan Williams, and he will do so. And brings Rob Evans with him in the number 30 Mopar truck. And now James Sykes moves inside to try to get trying to get himself a little bit of a off the fourth turn they come here, and now we see Williams. On the outside of the track here, and whoa, a little bit of a move, a little bit, a little bit of loose right there is Williams in a number seven truck. Meantime, Jessica Shelton now is still get uh, having a, still have still trying to get past what she lost right here. She that was that was Quentin Moore in the twenty one. He just she just passed, I should say. As you jump inside with Quentin Moore in the twenty one truck, he wins in tenth position up ahead of Shelton in ninth. There is Seth Cole. Let's take a look at. Let's take a look back at what. Let's take a look. Yellow flags now flown out in this race here. We're, we're going to look back at what happened with Seth Cole first off. Him and Johnny Gardner as to what happened here. As the yellow flag flies, yellow flag I think flew because of the 81 truck of Scott Upton, who spun. It was either him, him or Dexter Black. No, it was Logan Williams in a seven truck actually that spun. 
Let's quickly look at the seven truck of Logan Wynn. See, we'll see what happened to him. He gets right with he gets right, he gets into it with Cat Batson in the fifty truck. And eighty seven of Cassie Dent trying to miss the tra the crash. And she got tapped a little bit in the back end by Dexter Black. Then and Logan and then Scott Epton and Roberto Crown Jr. both got into it as well too. Cole Deaver trying to find his way around and let's see if Deaver does make it through. I think he will do so. Yeah, so Deaver does make it through. And a couple of, and one other truck was uh, that was the pace truck. Speaking of Deaver, let's see what happened to him earlier on. This happened back on the third lap here. Deaver was four wide off turn number two, which you don't do at North Wilkesboro. It was he, Seth Cole, Matt McIntyre, and Jessica Shelton. Now Seth Cole's gonna spin right there. He's he, Seth gets right into the wall coming off turn number four. Oh my goodness. How Deaver's truck did not... I was meaning turn two is where Seth Cole spun, but... But nobody was watching Seth. Everybody's watching what happened to Cole Deaver. I think this caught me off guard, too. Real time. It's just amazing stuff here. And I think Seth just ended up in the wall right there. There's where Seth slid right there. He slid it. Seth, Seth actually slid into the entrance of Pit Road. That's how he ended up on Pit Road, but unlike Deaver, but. And Seth actually hit the pit road wall himself, too, leaving some debris on the track. So that's what happened to cause the first two wrecks of the day. So let's get back to the racing. I mean, I mean, I am still shell-shocked, I mean, as to how Cole Deaver's car did not die after that crash here. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, Deaver is still running somehow. He's two laps down in 38th position. He's catching up now to Seth Cole, but uh, that just that, that replay just absolutely baffled me. I mean, like I said, when I saw Deaver's truck went up in the air on pit road right there, and then and, and after that crash, I thought he was for sure he was out of the race. But anyway, that all being aside, there Kyle Matthews is your leader of this race here. Second position is Joshua Osborne. Third is Mike Becker. Fourth is Charles Sanford, and fifth is Matt McIntyre. That's how they run right now at the in this portion of the race. Dylan Young is in 6th position, 7th is Levi McIntyre, 8th <coughs> position is Phil Parker, Ninth is Jessica Shelton, and 10th is Quentin Moore. Charles trying to get by Mike Becker, or trying to hold him off here, here comes Matt McIntyre to the low side as he tries to get past uh, Becker, and now Samper. Moves inside of Cole Deaver, trying to get past him to try to catch up to the front two runners in Joshua Osborne and Kyle Matthews. <clears throat> Excuse me. And meantime, Levi McIntyre moving inside of his buddy Dylan Young in the tournament three they go here. Phil Parker and Jessica Shelton following the 99 truck. And Jess moves up in behind Dylan Young here. Her truck pushed up high a little bit. And whoa, she was about got into the back of the five of Parker's truck there. But as she tries her way, as she tries to find her way around those, that rainbow colored Chevrolet. Meantime, Quentin Moore's been knocked out of the top 10 by in favor of Gene Sanford in the number 94 truck. Sanford running right now in 10th position. And now she tries to find her way around Jessica Shelton, and she moves Jess up the track, and now Johnny Gardner's going to follow through as well, too, in the 29. And, oh, and Dylan Young's in the wall. He, ta he takes Gene Sanford, and Jessica Shelton, the points leaders in the, in the crash. Well,
Oh, we've often said anything. We often said in any offline series of how how much things can change, and you and this, and it's things like that that usually is reasons why. And Jessica Shelton comes out the for turn to take the caution flag, and you can and you know she is PO'd underneath that helmet too. You know she is. Take a look as to what happened, and that was and. He came off turn number four. Dylan Young got real loose. Come off turn number four, and right into the three of Cole Deaver. Just missed the five truck of Phil Parker. The young ricochets, young ricochets back across the track into Gene Simber and the twenty-nine Johnny Gardner. And poor Jessica Shelton had nowhere to go. There's Nathan Orman. He's going to get in the crash as well too. He almost flipped the four truck over. And Orman got a little bit of damage to this truck here. I don't know how some of the other trucks missed the crash. And Gardner. Gardner turned Shelton back the, the forward way, though. But, but uh, tough luck for her, both her and Gene Samber as they both got collected in the crash that Dylan Young spun in or there. And Jess, for some reason, I thought it was going to go after Johnny Gardner. Gardner did nothing wrong in that whole deal, too. There's truck I think you need to go after, Jess. <laughs> but at any rate, that drops Jess back to the 24th position. Dylan Young down to 21st. And Gene Samper, meantime, is running right now in 18th. That's where they dropped them bunch right, that bunch back. Uh, <coughs> trucks that are trucks uh, that are not on the lead lap, they're built... Um, I should say, um, Paul Minnick, Nathan Orman, Johnny Gardner, Seth Cole, and Cole Deaver. Those trucks were not on the lead lap. That's why they're on the inside lane. But in the meantime, it's Kyle Matthews who leads this race. The green flag back out on lap number 32 here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Second is Joshua Osborne. Third is Charles Samper. Fourth position is Matt McIntyre. And Mike Becker runs in fifth position as they go into turn number three. Here comes Osborne down the low side of uh, Matthews for the lead. As Seth Cole's gotten by, trying to get one of his two laps back. Close corners racing between the 52 and the 98, 98 trucks there. Chevy on the outside, Ford on the low side. As they're side by side in the turn number three. Both of them both of them wants to win at North Wilkesboro Speedway. As they come off turn number four here, Osborne gets a little bit loose off turn number four, and he and, and he'll and he'll take the first lead change of the day. So Osborne, Osborne becomes the second leader of the day here on the, here today. But Kyle Matthews is not giving up in the AC Delco Chevy. Here comes Charles Sanford closing up for that number for the number one spot himself at two. Charles says, "I want to get on this battle too." And meantime, it's all problems on the front stretch. Boy, a lot of trucks into the wall. Phil Parker was in it. I think I saw the 88 of, of um, Zach Winkle get into it. And Osborne. Oh, my God. Joshua trying to find the pace truck there. I think you passed a lot of trucks there on accident there, buddy. But meantime, Seth Cole gets one of his two laps back. It's two laps back. He's now one lap down now. So we'll see what happens. Take a look at what happened on the front stretch here. And it all started with the number five truck of Phil Parker. It came out to number four here. He and Paul Bennett got together right there as they come out the fourth turn there. That sent Phil and Quentin Moore both into the wall. James Sykes gets involved. There's Matt Haas in the eight truck. He gets squeezed up by Moore himself. And now everybody else is going to try to find a play in the game of where do I go when I get there. And then there's uh, Fitzwater gets into the crash here. My Josh King involved. Cassie Dent involved. And everybody else is all strewn all over the place here. Uh, Dylan Young on the outside trying to trying to hit the brake here, hit the brakes. Where they're saying that the Williamses, Henry and Logan both. 
And I don't think anybody else got any damage from this whole thing, too. I don't think they did, so... So... There you have it with that, as, um... But I'm sure, uh... Quentin wanted to make sure what what that was all about right there. And we had an in car and we had an in truck camera from Quentin Moore's truck here. Let's take a let's take a ride with him. Oh, and he just hit Ty Dent as well, too. I didn't see that. So let's take a look at what happened to him right there. There's Quentin Moore. I'm sure Aubrey ran a little bit of adrenaline, I'm sure. Actually, Ty turns right into Quentin's truck right there and, and just basically just sent him around, himself around. Ty was running 15th when this all happened, too. And there's the, all lot of the, brain, the brace strewn all over the track. I'm going to turn number two. And who? Field goal, three points there by Nathan Hudson in the sixth truck. As a damaged up number five of Phil Parker comes down pit road for repairs. So again, four trucks lined up on the inside. Those trucks are again are not on the lead lap there. Johnny Gardner in the 29, the three of Cole Deaver, the 24 of Nathan Ormond, and the 48 of Paul Minnick. So the leader of the race now is Joshua Osborne. Ty Dent somehow is now in second position. I don't know how that happened. After he got spun, but in any way, um, Ty is now second place right now for some reason. As they come off turn number four, the green flag flies are back underway, and he's going to hold off. He's going to hold up a lot of trucks on the inside here. Matthews going to the low side. He and Sanford. Up the middle of the track here. Now they come off turn number two on the. Kyle's gonna go inside and says, "Screw this!" And here he comes down the off turn number four. And, oh, look at this mess! Oh my sakes, alive! Cat Batson down on the inside. Same with Rob Evans, Daniel Bouchard, James Sykes, Levi McIntyre. They're all, they're all in this whole mess and. It, it, it's the eye of the storm here, guys, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I can say. It's the eye of the storm. Short track, short track, truck racing. Pretty hard to, pretty tough to beat. And now Matthews finally gets around both Paul Minnick and Nathan Orman, but he's lost a lot of ground now to Joshua Osborne, who is now set sailing in that number 98 Ray Bestis Ford. Osborne yet to win this season two by in, the, in this truck series here in, in, in this Hunt Brothers Pizza truck series, and he could be seven and he and he is possibly 16 laps away from possibly doing so here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Again, the t three and the 29 trucks are are not on the lead lap. Kyle Matthews runs in second position. He was the guy that dominated the opening stages of the race here. In fact, he's already clinched the lit. You know, he's, already, he's already clinched most laps led. By leading the first 34 laps of this race here, but um, unless something goes the wrong, unless something goes awry with the number with the number 98 truck, though, then looks like uh, Matthews may be a second place finisher, possibly in this race here. But still got 14 laps to go in this race here as the, this time by. So Kyle's driving his heart out, trying to find, trying to find his way around those lap trucks before he gets to the 98 machine. And Matthew's, Matthew's now two seconds back of the leader, so... <clears throat> On board with Charles Sanford, number 16. He runs in third position right now. Jesse Turner now runs fourth. And fifth is Kat Madsen. Daniel Bouchard is sixth position. Seventh is James Sykes. Eighth is Robbie Bogues. Levi McIntyre in ninth. And Rob Evans right now runs in tenth position. Average speed so far just under 80 miles an hour, 79.871 miles prior to be exact. And now we bumped up to, uh, bumped up to the 80 mile an hour average now at 80.36. And so, but 
coming down for 11 laps to go this time by for truck number 98. And caution flag is waved, and oh, he's on the inside lane. That's Nathan Hudson at number six, and Osborne just missed him. That was close. Oh, and Joshua did not want to see that yellow flag fly here with 11 to go. He's thinking, oh, no. But it's Nathan Hudson at number six that spins right there, and he got into it with Matt McIntyre this time, and he gets it across, comes across the nose of Dylan Young's truck, pinballs right into the 62 truck of, Robert, of Roberto Crown Jr. Jeez. A truck of, a truck of, of Matt Haas just missed him, but Ty Dent didn't. Crashes right into the 86 truck, and here comes Shelton. Ugh! And I'm sure Shelton, probably out of his frust out of his pure frustration on this day too, it may be part of it as well. But Nathan Hudson, unfortunately, he was the one that suffered. He got into the span, bounced off a couple of trucks here, and just there you go. And Hudson's out of the race right now as well too, as is Ty Dent, of course, and also joining Phil Parker in the garage area. Um, 21 truck of Quentin Moore is four laps down, and there you see the rest of the trucks that are a lap down or more. Cole Deaver, two laps down. <coughs> um, uh, the one lap downers are Roberto Crown Jr., Seth Cole, Paul Minnick, Nathan Ormond, and Johnny Gardner, who's now matching his truck position in 20, truck number in 29th position right now in this race. So we'll be back for the restart here in just a moment. So we're going to get the restart here on lap number 55. It'll be six laps remaining here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Um, Kyle Matthews has only got to get around the three truck of Cole Beaver before he's got possibly has any shot at trying to beat Joshua Osborne in this race here today. And Kyle trying to gain back what he the lead that he lost earlier in this event when the lap truck kind of held Matthews up and let Osborne go by. So let's see what happens here. Green flag's about to fly here. The three here as they come off turn number four. Green flag waves. Six laps remaining here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Matthew's trying to get around Cole Deaver. It looks like he might do so coming off turn number two, but that's going to let Osborne pull away. So Matthew's got rid of the three truck quickly. Now see what he's now see if he's got anything for the number 98 truck. Four tenths of a second now between the front two trucks here. Deaver now fi now fights back on the inside of the track. That shows you. I'm surprised, like I said, even after crashing at the end of the pit wall, Cole Deaver's truck is still running as if it was as if it was a top five truck. I mean, I mean, you know, usually a crash like that, like he suffered earlier on, would put him out of the race easily. And the yellow flag's flown with now three laps to go in the race here. And that may have just done it. It's Mike Becker in the 43 truck. And there's the yellow flag flying there with 57 laps in the book. So that's going to be three to go. So we're not going to... So we're, so we're, this race is going to end under caution. And if that's the case, that means Joshua Osborne is one with Kyle Matthews second and Charles Sanford finishing third. And then Jesse Turner and Kat Madsen fourth and fifth respectively. Take a look at what happened, and boy, Mike Becker was having a really good run today, and then he got shuffled back later on, earlier on, earlier on the race, and then uh, middle of the race, put him in his mess he's in right now, and let's take a look at what happened here, and Becker just got a tap from the 75 of Zachary Fitzwater, oh, in the wall goes the 43, and right, uh, ricochets back across the track, Batson misses him, Matt McIntyre misses him, and, well, everybody's going to miss him, I think. Except Roberto Crown Jr., he does not miss him. So damage to the number 62, Nap Auto Parts Dodge. And there is Becker sitting on pit row, but he, but but, there, but it's just as real as two laps to go. Maybe now white flag has flown, so... Joshua Osborne is going to pick up his first victory of the season as he wins here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. As he's, even, though we, even though we have the yellow and white flags both out, 
Kyle Matthews is going to come home second. Third place will go to Josh to Charles Samper. Fourth to Jesse Turner. Fifth place will go to Cat Batson. Sixth to James Sykes. Seventh place will go to Robbie Bogues. Eighth place to Daniel Bouchard. Ninth to Rob, to Rob Evans and Levi McIntyre will finish in 10th position. 11th place will go to Gene Samper, 12th to Henry Williams, 13th to Stephen Cologne, 14th to Zachary Fitzwater, 15th to Sebastian Dent, 16th to, uh, Zachary, to Zach Winkle, Cassie Dent, 17th, 18th to Keith Badson, 19th to Matt McIntyre, and Logan Williams comes home 20th. And there's the checkered flag. And it flies for Joshua Osborne as he takes the as he'll take the Ray Bestes for the victory lane today at North Wilkesboro Speedway. So there's the um, trucks going by. Quentin Moore, uh, frustrated as he ever, probably just flying by everybody else. But So, average speed of this race, 75.335 miles per hour. <clears throat> In this race here, we gave you the top 20 already. 21st will go to Josh King. 22nd place will go to Scott Upton. Dylan Young, 23rd. 24th to Mitchell Collins. 25th to Matt Haas. 26th to Dexter Black. 27th to Jessica Shelton. That's going to hurt her a little bit in the points, so situation as well, too. Uh, Johnny Gardner, 28th, 29th, to Nathan Orman, and Seth Cole will come home 30th. Paul Minnick, 31st, Cole Deaver, 32nd. Mike Becker, out of the race, as well as Roberto Crown Jr., 33rd and 34th. Quentin Moore, 35th, and Nathan Hudson, Ty Dent, and Phil Parker are the rest of the trucks out of the race. So that will do it here today at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Uh, as we can... Uh, that will, do it. that will do it today here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Congratulations again. Congratulations once again to Joshua Osborne, the winner here today. And we'll be and we're down now to three races remaining on the season. We were we here we'll be at Phoenix. Here we'll be at Phoenix next on the tour. <coughs> so as the well, the points of course obviously as always will be distributed at the end of this video. So thanks for watching here for now. This is Red Racer Nazi eighty five. This has been a production of the, of the NSCRA celebrating 10 years of offline racing at its best.